everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love a recipe video like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you my three vegan drinks. Firstly, I'd like to start by saying Happy New Year to you all. I hope your New Year's have got off to a flying start. Today I want to share with you three of my favourite vegan drinks. So throughout the year I don't normally drink a lot of tea or coffee. I tend to drink green tea if I drink any tea at all. And I like to make up my own herbal teas as well. And these are three of my favourite that I've made before and I've made videos of before. And I thought I'd share them with you today. I know that January is the time of year when people start to think about eating a bit healthier and perhaps looking after themselves a bit more so I thought that these might help you on that journey so here are my three vegan drinks lemon lime and ginger tea as I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my lemon lime and ginger tea and I have this drink first thing in the morning and the reason I love having this drink first thing in the morning is because I feel like it kick starts my liver um, ginger lemon and lime are all great anti-inflammatories but they also help to kick start the liver so that's why I like to have it first thing I feel it's better than having a cup of coffee I think this is better for me um, and I thought I'd show you it today because the weather has been so bad recently in the UK it's freezing at the moment and it's a great one to heat your system up as well and just to get you started in the morning so here is how to make my lemon lime and ginger tea so the first thing I'm going to do obviously is put some water in the kettle and then I'm going to boil the kettle so I'm just going to switch it on and boil it now so as you can hear the kettle has just finished boiling and in this bowl here I have half a lemon and half a lime so I'm going to squeeze the juice of half the lemon into the cup and then I'll squeeze the juice of half the lime as well. You could put the zest in as well if you wanted to, um, but these are wax, lemons and limes. I'm always a bit unsure of using wax, lemons and limes, like the zest of lemons and limes. Um, and yeah, I did wash them when we got them, but they have been sat in the fruit bowl for a little while as well. So I'm just gonna use the juice today. So I've just squeezed the juice of both the lemons and limes. And then I'm going to grate um, about half a centimetre's worth of ginger into a cup. So the great thing about this drink is you can make it as drink gingery or as not gingery as you like. So you can add as much or as little as you like. Um, and I always put it into a big mug as well because I like to have a big mug of it. So I've just grated that as well. As you can see, my mug is huge. Um, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. And then all I do is I pour the water onto this and I leave it to cool and then I drink it. Um, you can strain the ginger after a while if you want to. Um, but I prefer just to leave it in there. I don't mind it in there. But if you don't like the bits, then don't do it. And also, this can be a bit sour as well for some people. So if you wanted to add a bit of honey, I'd recommend that you do that. Um, and I would use a local honey as well. But please bear in mind that honey, when you heat it, it does turn to sugar. So it's not as great for the body as eating it raw. So yes, but that is my lemon, lime and ginger tea done and I'm off to protective turmeric hot chocolates. As I just mentioned today I'm going to be making my protective turmeric hot chocolate. Now this recipe is really easy to do and it's full of ingredients that are so good for you. If you are feeling a little bit sick or maybe a bit fluey then this is a great one to have. I know it's hot chocolate but Chocolate raw cacao powder is actually really good for you. It's full of vitamins and minerals and all the spices that I use in this are also full of vitamins and minerals as well. 
well so it's a great one to have you can have it during the summer but it's probably better in the winter but I just fancied one today so I thought I'd share the recipe with you while I was making it so here is how to make my delicious protective turmeric hot chocolate so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got some milk here so I've just got some oat milk you can use any type of milk you like and I'm just going to pour a cup of milk into this small saucepan and I'm going to let this heat up gently so I'm just going to put the hob on I'm going to put it on to like a medium heat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, about one or two tablespoons of hot cho uh, chocolate powder so I'm using raw cacao powder and I buy this in big packets in uh, our local wholesalers um, it's very cheap in there so I highly recommend it we get it from Costco so yeah it's it's really good it's just raw cacao powder and you can just add it to recipes and things it's really nice and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some spices to this as well as I mentioned earlier I'm so I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of cinnamon to that and I'm going to add probably about half a teaspoon of ground turmeric now in the original recipe it says to add fresh turmeric but unfortunately I can't get any fresh turmeric at the moment so I'm using ground but if you can get fresh then please use it because it does taste really nice with them fresh and then I've got half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg that I added to that as well and then I also have half a teaspoon of ground ginger as well so we added a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg not half but I'll put the recipe in the description box below for you and then I'm going to add a tiny amount of cloves as well cloves are really good for you they're really good for toothache for some reason as well but don't add too much because they are quite an overpowering flavour I have to say that and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give these a little stir so I'm just going to continue to stir this now until everything melts into the milk right so everything has melted away nicely but it's still quite bitter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a teaspoon about a teaspoon or two of maple syrup to this as well you can use honey if you're but if you're vegan then obviously only use maple syrup or another sweetener of your choice and then I'm just going to stir this in and I am going to turn the hob off I'm going to get my mug that I used earlier and I'm going to pour the hot chocolate into the mug and then I'm off to enjoy this yum 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 mm -mm -mm. Cheers! Spice chamomile tea. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make my delicious spiced chamomile tea. Now this recipe is really easy to do and I know that there are a lot of people who don't like to drink herbal tea. Personally, I love them and the reasons I love them are is A, they're really good for helping to aid digestion and B, they're also really good for helping to support the immune system. And at this time of year, when winter is on its way, we need all the help we can get I think so I'm going to be making myself one of these today and I thought while I was making it I'd share the recipe with you so here is how to make my delicious spice chamomile tea to start this process I have boiled my kettle and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chamomile tea bag into a mug you can use loose, loose leaf uh, tea if you want to but I'm going to use a tea bag I don't actually have any loose leaf chamomile at the moment um, and then I'm going to add a star and knees to this as well and this is what makes it spicy it's a nice tasting spice so it's not hot spicy if you're worried about that and then I'm also going to add a cinnamon stick to this now if I was making this for myself I'd probably only add half a cinnamon stick um, but because it's got to make a nice looking picture I'm going to add a whole one um, so if you are at home and you want to make this you can always use half a cinnamon stick 
you'll still get the same taste and flavour. So I just move those out of the way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this to brew for about three to five minutes. So I'm going to leave the tea bag in here and let it brew. I've left the tea to brew for about three minutes and I'm just going to take the bag out. Um, I'm going to leave the cinnamon stick and the star anise in just because I think it looks pretty but you can take those out as well if you want to. And you can add honey to this. So personally I would wait for the tea to cool down before I added the honey because if you add it when it's too hot it will turn to sugar. Um, so if you want the health benefits of the honey um, I would add it when it cools down and I would also use local honey in this as well supermarket honey tends to be honeys a mix of honeys from all over the world which isn't good for you but local honey is actually a lot better so I would add the local honey in once the tea has cooled. those were my three vegan drinks and those recipes I will link in the description box below for you that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon